Gulf Shores, Alabama, with white sand beaches and more shtick than chic, is often known as the Redneck Riviera. And people like Amy Miller don't mind. We fit right in. So what for rednecks? I think it's funny. It's a funny name. It's called that because of its affordability and who hangs out here. It's fun and it's beautiful and it's just as much stuff to do here as there would be you know, a four or five hour drive away where it's way more expensive. Sam Malone spends much of his time on the beach. He's extremely worried about the oil bubbling up just offshore in nearby Louisiana. You bet you I am. Metal detecting is one of my hobbies. If the uh, oil spill hits here, they close down the beach, uh, I'm going to get depressed. <laughs> and while you'd be wrong to call Daryl Alex a redneck, this is his home too. I've been living down here since 79, and uh, this is the, the scariest thing I've ever seen, really. It gives you a, a bad feeling in your stomach. Um, you know, there's obvious concern for the beaches, but even more concern for the wetlands, the, the estuaries, the grasses, where everything spawns and where everything comes from. For now, folks here are just left to worry and wonder if the winds and tides will take the oil elsewhere. If not, they'll just keep hoping the booms and other defense mechanisms work. Otherwise, it could be the end of the Redneck Riviera. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, Gulf Shores, Alabama.